Hey Coconuters, it's Twin Coconuts here and today we're going to be doing the Trypophobia test. Now apparently this is a test that a lot of people didn't know they had and I had to do some research on this test and apparently it's the fear of holes and I think I have this fear. Already, yeah. Like, or, or like circular things. I mean, you know what always grossed me out? When you go to a museum, right, and you can see a frog that's pregnant and it's like, but it's already dead and it's got like loads of little... Um, little eggs on all over his body. That's what I mean. And I was like, ugh. No, and at I, that time, I didn't know this was a test. And it's actually a, a known... I remember oh, once I when I was a kid, watching a boiling hot pot of water and it bubbling made me panic and stuff. I remember thinking, why was this the case? And I think it has got something to do with trypophobia. So we're going to be watching a video that's going to test if we have trypophobia. And we want you to let us know if you've got it too. So let's see if we have this crazy phobia. Trypophobia. The unofficial word adopted by Urban Dictionary to describe persons with an irrational fear of clusters of holes, pods, circles, cracks, and or other asymmetrical shapes, which results in an all-over itchy feeling and a general uneasiness. Like, mm. As with any mental or physical ailment, the severity of the symptoms can fluctuate from person to person. So do you have trypophobia? For this test, plant your feet flat on the ground and your palms flat in front of your keyboard. The test will worsen it. as it progresses, and if at any time you move your hands or feet to aid an itch, pause the video and record your time as seen in the upper right hand corner. Okay. Remember to post your time in the comment section below. You post your time. Okay. So remember, do this with us. Hands down, feet flat, and if you itch in a certain time, comment it. I ain't gonna do it. This is a challenge for me. I want to eat that. Mmm. Tasty. I don't know if it's because I'm watching it, but I feel like I'm about to panic. <laughs> that mold, that worms underneath it, that's disgusting. The bad. I've oh, actually itchy. That's like a maggot really I'm close. actually itchy, but I think it's just dandruff. That's the frog thing that I was on about. Is it? Yeah, that's the belly of a frog. Like, firing out its babies. That's, See? That's not a belly, that's a back, in it? Well, you know, well, that's a fish, that one, but the frog did the same thing. I think it's a frog. Yeah, holes, I don't like them. <gasps> I bet they mess up his skin. <gasps> that is sick. What the hell is that? That is what I'm on about. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I don't feel it. I feel the need to itch, but I feel like I can contain it. If you I, know what I, I mean? I can. That's just a potato. It's like cheese. I want to eat it. It's a potato. Oh, cheese. I'll eat anything that's cheese. <gasps> oh my God, it's fucking... Pardon my French, but that is disgusting. Oh, she's got babies inside of her back. They're doing a very good job of getting out, aren't they? It's, no. really, it's really annoying me, actually. Ah, ah, freedom! <laughs> freedom! <laughs> what the hell's that? Is that rash? I might have been leaving on some wire. Oh, maggots! Is that maggots? So far, I don't think I have trypopho trip trypophobia. 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 Oh, what the fuck? Is that somebody? That's inside of someone's fingers. That's fake. That, yeah, that's that that's fake. a flower that you know. And they just photoshopped it in someone's knees. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel hungry. Yeah, I don't feel hungry. Not after eating, looking feel. at that, I'm just saying I feel hungry in general. I've had a breakfast. Oh, right, okay. She looks happy, but when should she get some? She won't be. Now, if you did itch over the course of the test, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have trypophobia. The itchy sensation you may have received is simply your brain interpreting the holes in the pictures in relation to your skin, especially towards the end of the test. You could almost call it a cross between telekinesis and subliminal messaging through visual stimulation. Well, I don't think I have trypophobia. I don't think we have trypophobia. No. I, mean, I don't like the images, they are unsatisfying, but yeah. I didn't have to itch. I mean, I mean, if I do have it, it's very, very slight. It's only a slight itch, but I could contain it to the point where I didn't have to do it. 
So does that maybe, mean I don't have true Maybe if I didn't, didn't know I was on a challenge, I would have actually went. Ooh, yeah, probably. That would have been the case. But the fact that I was actually being tested, I only look like a boss. So let us know. Do you have trypophobia? Did you itch any time in that video, or did you feel the need to itch? We felt the need to itch, but we hold it in like a boss. So I'm guessing that we don't have trypophobia. Anyway, Kokonus, that's the end of that video. Remember, if you like this, give it that thumbs up. Make sure to comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget to please subscribe. And we're going with over us today. Remember, everyone, we love you all. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you have an amazing day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.